Hi, and welcome to Themico. In this video, we'll dive into the concept of relative motion of two particles. During the video, we are going to learn the definition of this concept and how it differs from the absolute motion. We will also get familiar with how we can describe this kind of motion. Let's get started. So what is meant by the relative motion of two particles? To understand what kind of motion the relative motion is, we first have to understand what is meant by the absolute motion of a particle. We can say that a particle is in absolute motion if it's moving relatively to the fixed object. Therefore, to describe the motion of a particle in this kind of motion, we use fixed XYZ reference frame. How does this absolute motion then differ from the relative motion of two particles, you may ask? The simple answer is that instead of a particle that would be moving relative to a fixed particle, it moves relative to a particle which is also in some type of motion. Thus, in order for us to analyze this kind of motion, we are most often compelled to use more than one frame of reference, named as x-y-z- frame. As you see, because our established additional frame is in translational movement related to the fixed frame of reference, we can represent the position of particle B related to particle A with the relative position vector Rb by A. We can write the equation for the position of particle B as follows. Rb equals Ra plus Rb by A. We can also solve the velocity relation between the particles if we take the time derivative of the equation related to the position of particle B, which leads us to the following equation. Vb equals Va plus Vb by A, where Vb and Va are absolute velocities of the corresponding particles. Likewise, Vb by A is the relative velocity of the particle B with respect to the particle A. Also note that because the translating frame is only in translational movement, the direction of the components of the relative position vector Rb by A are not changing due to the motion and thus we only need to consider how the magnitude of this vector changes. In addition to the position and velocity of the particle, we need to usually also consider the acceleration of a particle, which includes the absolute and relative components in the case of relative motion. If we take the time derivative of the equation related to the velocities of the particle, we obtain the vector relationship between the absolute and relative accelerations of both particles A and B as follows. AB equals AA plus AB by A. There you have it. Now you know how the relative motion of two particles can be described and analyzed. Hopefully, by watching this video, you know the definition of the relative motion of two particles and you are also familiar with the aspects that can be used to describe this kind of motion. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.